okay my super spider crew how did you get on with your spider food did you manage to sort it all out for the spider oh, i bet you did i bet she's got two webfuls of delicious a and e foods lucky her now on with our maths for today and i said we were going to use spider legs in our maths today and that's what we're going to do now we're going to use them to help us learn something new in maths today and the new thing we're going to think about the new idea we're going to learn about today is something called doubling oh new mathsy word can you say it with, with me are you ready doubling well done now has anybody heard that word before or does anybody have an idea about what it means hmm. when we double something it means we've got twice as many okay it means for example if i started with one pen and i wanted to double it i'd get another one pen I've got one pen twice. I've got twice as many, okay? When we double something, or when we're doubling, we're getting twice as many of something. Oh, sounds complicated, doesn't it? But this is where, hopefully, our spider legs are gonna help us out. Now, normally, how many legs does a spider have, guys? It has eight, doesn't it? Okay. How many legs does it normally have on one side? Four, well done. So here's my spider body and I've got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, what's pretty snazzy about a spider's legs is that they're double, okay? We've got four on this side and four on this side. We've got double, four we've got four twice four on each side okay how much is double four if we counted all those legs up together how many would we have eight well done okay and that's what we're going to think about today we're going to think about spiders legs and how we can spot doubles to get us started we've got some pictures to look at come with me and i'll show you what they are Okay then guys, here's our first spider. Now the first thing you might notice about our spider here is that he's missing some legs. Now it's been a bit of a tough day for the spiders in our picture today because some of them have lost some of their legs. Poor things. Now it's helpful for us, although it's a bit of a shame for the spiders, but it's helpful for us because it's going to help us spot whether they've got double legs or not. OK, now remember what we said a second ago. We said that when we double something, it means we've got it twice. OK, now for us to be able to tell whether our spiders have got double the legs or not, we need to look and see whether they've got the same number of legs on each side. OK, for it to be double, both sides of their bodies have to have the same number of legs. If they have got the same number of legs, then it's a double. If they haven't, it's not, okay? Because that's what a double is. It has to be the same thing twice. It can't be different. So let's have a little look at this guy here. How many legs has he got on this side of his body? How many can you see? Two, well done. And then how many can you see on the other side of his body? He's got two on that side of his body as well. Are both sides the same, guys? Yes, they are, aren't they? They've both got two on there. So, has this spider got double legs or not? He has, well done. He has got double legs because both sides of his body are the same. They've both got two on, okay? We've got two twice. This spider is a double. Okay, guys, let's have a look at this guy then. Now, this poor old spider has lost some of his legs as well. 
Has this spider got double legs on his body or not? Hmm, let's have a look together. So we're going to look at one side of his body first. Let's have a look at this side. How many legs has he got on that side of his body, guys? Three. Well done. One, two, three. Okay. Let's have a look at the other side next then. How many on this side this time? Two. Well done. Hmm. So he's got different amounts of legs on each side of his body, hasn't he? So has he got double or not? No, he hasn't, has he? Because remember what we said, for something to be double, it has to be the same twice. So for our spiders, they have to have the same number of legs on each side. This poor old fellow has got three on one side and two on the other. So he's not a double spider, is he? He's got odd legs on his body. Oh, let's look at this little chappy here. What do you think, guys? Have a look at one side of his body first and count his legs for me. Shout for me. How many has he got on one side of his body? He's got three. Well done. OK, have a look at the other side of his body now, guys. How many legs on that side? Three. Well done. Ooh. So the same number of legs on each side of his body this time. What do you think then, guys? Double or not double? Well done. This one's a double, isn't it? Because they're exactly the same on both sides. We've got two lots of three. We've got three twice. This spider is a double. Well done. Or have a little look at this guy. Same again then, guys. Count up the, the legs on one side of his body first. So do this side of his body first. How many has he got? He's got three. Well done. And of course, guys, today, if you can subitize the number of legs on, the, <clears throat> on one side of the spider's body, go for it. Don't have to count if you can subitize. That's absolutely fine. Let's have a look at this other side then, guys. How many legs on this side? Three again. Well done. Now, he's got the same number of legs, but the legs are in different places. So what does that mean? Well done. It's still a double, isn't it? He's still got the same number of legs on each side of his body, even though they're in different places. We're not worrying about that today. All we're thinking about is whether he's got the same amount of legs on each side of his body. If he has then he is a double. If he hasn't, he's not a double, okay? So this spider is a double. Okay then team, now we're gonna stop there together on the screen and I would like you to go away and keep practicing that now with your grown up. So to help you practice, I've made you a form to fill in and on your form, you've got pictures of spiders legs like the ones we've been looking at. And I would love it if you could have a look at those pictures for me and then decide whether it is a double or not. OK, now remember, you're going to know that it's a double. You're going to know that your spider has got double legs if he's got the same number of legs on each side. OK, if he hasn't got the same number of each legs on each side, then it's not a double. Now that's really important, all right, because doubling or having double of something means we have to have the same thing twice, okay? So they have to be the same on both sides for it to be a double. If it's different, it can't be, all right? First job of the day then, go and look at those pictures with your grown up, have a chat together and see if you can start to recognize when it is double and when it isn't. All right, once you've done that, come back and join me here and I'll tell you what we're going to do next.